Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years, Rahman Music Sheets. The urge for me was to, to be different from what I would do because some of the sounds became similar and other, other people started adapting certain sounds. So I was trying to re define my identity. The late Paji came all the way from Delhi next evening and he ordered a mix of uh, Chinese, some Hakka noodle and tandoori chicken. So, <laughs> I, I said, wow, you Delhi wale ho pakka. He said, oh, I thought you were sitting with a French director. Who are you? I said, I am the director of the Basanti, you are the title of the title. Rangde Basanti was India's official entry for the Oscars in 2007. It was nominated for the British Academy Film Awards. In India, it won four national awards, six Filmfare, 11 IFA and seven Screen Awards. A.R. Rahman swept all the awards as the best music director. The film revolves around a dark subject. Yet, Rangde Basanti's music has stood the test of time. For us, Rangde Basanti was always a very liberating subject. It was a voice and it had to come out of us collectively and, co and we had to collaborate as I had to tell the story and create the pictures and he had to create the music and the sound which complemented or juxtaposed each other. So here you see the opening of the film and Rajguru, Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev are walking to the gallows, their last walk, the last mile and the, the noose is put around their neck and the black cloth is put and the music is rock. It is an expression of rebellion. It is an expression of extreme patriotism and more than that, it's an expression of sacrifice. There is no rhetoric, nobody is shouting anything, nobody is saying inkalabs in the bath, nobody is saying, uh, you know, going to the gallows, singing a song or anything. They are going very silently. Because now, you are going to cross over to a higher realm. You are going to the next phase. Your soul is going to travel. Your body will be left behind. And that is the feeling one wanted. All this happens to you when you work with Ayar. Uh, because working with him also you more than expressing yourself outwardly, you deep dive, deep dive inside yourself. Uh, because the purity, the spirituality of his approach, the hard work he puts in, inspires you to follow step. Here, Rangde Basanti captured the mood and the frustration of the youth and it sounded totally different from whatever you had done till that point. Tell us something about that. Um, I think it was a period when I had gone out for Bombay Dreams and I lost touch or almost with our Indian audience and uh, then I started doing all these freedom fighter movies like Mangal Pandey, Orchestral. So I was feeling a bit, am I getting old? <laughs> and, and what's happening? And I'm, of course, it's creatively, it's moving towards another thing, but it's not connecting me with my younger audiences. So when I met Rakesh and then I met Prasun Joshi, who's like another great poet. Um, so the urge for me was to to be different from what I would do because some of the sounds became similar and other, other people started adapting certain sounds and there's amazing other composers who came in who, who did great stuff. So I was trying to redefine my identity in a way and move away from things which, which everybody has to, when people grow they have to move away from things which they cling on to into newer things. So it was again back to the searching mode. <laughs> what could we do with this movie? And the movie was uh, dark in a way. 
because all the kids die in the end and why should you see this movie and it's it's got something but it's also a very risky movie so i was constantly trying to gravitate towards as a team we were trying to gravitate towards uh what would make this um the soundtrack so addictive and what would make it um close to the movie too and uh, so the whole soundtrack almost 70% of the 70 80% of the soundtrack finished in 2 weeks you know all the ideas i gave and i got lyrics from prasoon and we finished it and then and then i was thinking of why can't we do a song with lata ji for this and where and do something completely opposite to the and and that that's when luka chupi came in so that's one of the um uh another experience which i would never forget luka chupi bahuthi samanya jaana luka chupi featured lata mangeshkar and ar rehman singing together for the first time rehman also opted for unusual singers and interesting pairings naresh ayer he won the national award as best playback singer for rubaru blaze a specialist in writing and singing rap music ks chitra who sang the title song along with dalair mehndi dalair was never meant to sing the song but uh, as as the tune evolved and we tried something the punch was missing it was feeling like a song song but it was not feeling like a soldier who's going out to sacrifice his life for the country i i didn't feel like the rusticness in it it was it was too rounded and i kept telling ar it i'm feeling it it's i'm not getting as if i am going out there uh to to protect my land we need a more rustic more more kavali in it and i kept repeating that word more kavali in it more rustic but it has to be uh at the same time i'm going to sacrifice my life for the country it, it has to be that kind of feeling of giving everything away the name dalair mehndi came up i actually said nusrat fazal ali khan if somehow we can get nusrat bhai to get to sing this song uh but we there was no access to him so we called dalair paji and uh dalair paji came all the way from delhi next evening um, i was sitting in the room i had long locks of hair and I, you know i was on my laptop I didn't want to come between the singer and the composer so I didn't even introduce myself to him so then he uh, ordered some dinner so I heard the order and I was also feeling hungry and he ordered a mix of uh, chinese some hakka noodle and tandoori chicken so <laughs> i i said wow aap delhi wale ho pakka kehte koi maine soja to si koi friend director baithe ho tum kaun ho maine kaha main ye rangde basanti ka director hu aap title gana gane wale ho iska to khana khate hain pehle <laughs> so we went back to our delhi day spoke in the meantime ar popped in song is ready come and they laid it this to his mustache all that went in and in a single take he rolled out the song by which time i narrated the whole story to him i told him about bhagat singh he knew all about it told him about chandrashekhar azad ram prasad bismil ashokullah khan spoke about the great sacrifices uh, the french res- resistance as such of the youngsters who gave up their life you know o- all about that and being a seek he had tears in his eyes and he told me about the sacrifice of all his gurus and how they sacrificed their own children and i said that is the song dalair paji it you taken the i could not express it and we are talking about sacrifice celebrating death and sacrificing celebrating sacrifice 
once that feeling happened, the song happened. Rakeshji, in our last episode, we had discussed the recording of Luka Chupi's song with Lata Mangeshkar ji. That song was longlisted for an Oscar. Another song that was in the running for an Oscar was Khalbali Hai Khalbali. I believe you had to shoot the song, but you didn't have the song. What was that? <laughs> oh, yes. So, uh, again, there was no song situation and uh, I'm shooting in Jaipur and we are picturizing the other stuff. So I call AR and I say, hey man, uh, where are you? He said, I'm London right now. So I said, you know, I, I have this thing going and I think uh, I've reached a point in a film where these boys are feeling uh, liberated. They are feeling very moved from within. These were, 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 were kids who were only concerned about going to college, coming back to college, getting their job, making them million, flying to America for further studies, uh, just be conforming to what has been told to them. But now something else has happened. Something, a new spirit has moved inside them. And this is the spirit of the youngsters of the 20s who were rebels. And it's disturbing them. So there is a storm inside them which is building up and they are going crazy and I'm, I'm gonna uh, pictureize them going crazy. They're gonna behave crazy, they're gonna dance like crazy, they're gonna twirl like crazy, nothing choreographed, nothing uh, distinctively choreographed or underlined uh, as such. Unfortunately, I could not give him much time. So he said, when are you shooting it? I said, maybe if you give me something tonight, tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> it didn't happen the next morning, but it happened the morning after. And AR had, uh, uh, was passing through and he heard this voice in a nightclub in, in London. And he composed Yali. And there in those uh, no internet connection days, he sent a file which was not really very heavy. It was an audio file. But there was no internet. So we found uh, this uh, internet cafe. Uh, you know, there used to be this cafe called Java Cafes. Woke up the guy middle of the night because it came from London late. I was shooting early in the morning and my assistants were downloading. And AR did share a three minute piece and all we could download uh, was one minute and 10 seconds. I distinctively remember, 70 seconds. So I put that on the loop and we went crazy shooting the next day. <laughs> and there were no lyrics, there was nothing, and but it was great fun. by Sony Music, the soundtrack of Rang De Basanti featured among the best-selling soundtracks of 2006. If Mahatma Gandhi introduced us to Satyagraha, Rang De Basanti gave a new tool for activism in the 21st century. The film had a deep impact on our psyche. On its music and the social awakening it evoked, Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra continues on our next episode. Stay with us.
subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.